What is up YouTube and welcome to this video all about Mr. Oz. So this is going to be a video all about Action Comics 987. This will contain spoilers as well for the latest issue of The Flash and of course the spoilers all about who Mr. Oz actually is. So if you don't want to be spoiled, do not watch this video and come back when you've actually watched or read the comic, sorry. So welcome to the channel please drop a like please subscribe if you're new i do cover the flash tv show everything and pretty much game of thrones the wide range of geekdom but here this is action comics 987 and there has been a mystery at the heart of dc comics since even before dc rebirth we had mr oz who was the mysterious person who has been following clark kent superman around and he was even throughout DC Rebirth, he has popped up in many, many different places and has actually been, has he been a good guy or a bad guy? Now, from the start, we thought he was actually all about being Ozymandias from Watchmen because the Watchmen storyline or the, the property is going to catastrophically crash into the main DC universe but we were completely wrong now the the idea the reason why we thought it was Ozymandias was the fact that well we had the N logo on Pandora's hand he or it was able to disintegrate her had the same blue lightning that Dr. Manhattan did and there is many many different reasons mainly the main reason here is obviously because we actually had the Watchmen I kind of hint towards in the one shot that was written by our friend Jeff Johns. So Jeff Johns wrote in the Comedian's Button and we had a fantastic storyline investigating that with The Flash and Batman, which I'd highly recommend checking out. And this is the reason why we thought it would be Ozymandias. I did present a little fun theory on my channel for you where I presented that it could be Superboy Prime, who has watched or has read the comics that has left after he was um, taken back to his world. And then what happened is he sat there, become angry about what's going on, angry with New 52, and decided to become Mr. Oz. But that was a... Now, the real idea is kind of they've got the same themes. Mr. Oz, while outrightly so far, we haven't been hinted towards that he hates, really does despise humanity or is or what his real motives are we seemingly only thought that his motives were to be supporting dr manhattan because uh, he mentioned him we saw a bit of mars and so far what we've actually seen is someone who has taken things off the board he's taken doomsday he's taken a justice league villain and he's taken the red robin tim drake and it's seemingly people who are getting in the way of superman which is kind of weird i'm not really sure why the red robin tim drake was taken there it's it's really kind of curious as to why he was actually taken but he was taken all the same so the reason and the the identity here is that it is jor l so jor l the father of superman who sent his son to a mysterious planet named earth and to escape the cataclysmic explosion of krypton and his son was sent to be a beacon and, and seemingly he, his father had all kinds of hope. However, that hope was seemingly was overplayed and he sent his son to Earth who he was originally or seemingly so far has been mistrusted. He wants, Clark Kent wants to do all his best to help humanity and save them. But us poor humans, we give in to our base natures, our selfish natures. And well, that is is why Jor-El is pissed. And Jor-El has seemingly been setting up, he's got his followers around the world, not sure why he's got that N logo on his hand, on all his followers' hands, and these followers have been set up to trigger humanity into being bad. So, he, not even, I wouldn't say set up to trigger them into being bad, actually, that's kind of not the, really the best term. More, it is actually he has triggered or given the option to be bad, which he does, and we've got immigrants, workers, we've got, obviously, a guy who's on a ship drinking while driving his boat full of oil, which I thought was a bit stupid, I thought that was that was a bit lame. We've got poachers, we've also, as well, got 
people who are running sweatshops. But uh, once again, time and time and time again, we have this simplistic view that humans are inherently bad. And then Superman comes along, saves the day and says, oh wait, no, humans, they are good. It is a trope which has existed from time and time and time again. And I'm a bit sick of it. (laughs) I'm a bit sick of the fact that this trope does exist. It has been done to death. And is really... But then again, I also write to the point that I'm not a writer. I, I could never write a comic book as good as the, the greats could ever write them. And I will look into this and I will take this with a pinch of salt. I will be optimistic about what is going on and where this will actually go. Because we actually have to look into how he actually survived. Because quite quite evidently, Superman... His father did explode on that planet, but his eye is missing. Looks all green and everything. And really, we we should have really guessed it, because he seemingly only really went up against villains who were against Superman or people against Superman, albeit apart from uh, Robin and also uh, a couple of others. But it really was, he went up against Lex Luthor. And it does seem that he has a memory of another world. So... That's the reason why he would actually go up against Lex Luthor, because he's probably seen other things and other other worlds, other continuities, pre-Flashpoint, pre-New 52, that kind of thing. So we have to really wonder where this version of our Jor-El, our father, is or has come from. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. We, we've got the origins of Mr. Oz next issue, so uh, it should be good. I think it might be might be pretty cool to see where this actually goes. I was kind of expecting a Watchmen mystery, I won't lie. But I expect that the Watchmen mystery will actually be all explained in the Doomsday Clock coming in November. So we've got the Oz effect full and set up now. And it seems like Lex, or sorry, Superman, <laughs> maybe Lex will get involved, will actually have to fight his own father for supremacy of the planet or to save humanity or he could convince his father who is actually right. Will the humans actually be good and be okay? Uh, it's a long shot. It's a real long shot. And I can't help but think that Mr. Oz has picked real big extremes instead of looking in the microcosm of it and look choosing people who go about everyday life and things like that. But you know what? He's done what he's done. And it's going to be curious to see where this actually goes. And is he actually a villain? Because, well, he is against humanity. So if you think about it, Superman is the one, the champion of humanity. And, well, he they are going to butt heads. And he's also actually <laughs> entrapped poor old Supergirl's father as well. So I think Supergirl might turn up and be pretty angry about that. And we've got all of that mysteries going on with the Fatal Five as well. So it's going to be a big, big winter here for DC Comics as they move forward into this. And it's looking a lot more interesting than Marvel, whose Secret Empire ended with uh, nothing really that interesting. But The Flash also was really, really good as well. It was a great, great issue. The negative Speed Force is actually picking up and being a real problem for Barry Allen. And we've also seen a brand new villain called Bloodwork, who is incredibly, incredibly creepy. So I'm not too sure how much he will actually fit in moving forward with this. I expect it is simply just a villain of the Arcroy, someone who is going to be over three issues. Maybe that is it. And he seems a bit unremarkable, and the guy seems incredibly creepy. And I can't help but think this is this might have been also been engineered by Mr. Oz as well to keep him off the board. He wants to keep Batman off the board as well, albeit he is going on the next level insane journey in Dark Knight's Metal, which also came out today. And I did my review yesterday, so you can check that out. But the curious things will go forward, and it's going to be fun to see where this actually goes and what Mr. Oz actually does. If he is actually involved, or how much is he involved with Dr. Manhattan and the further mysteries 
of the Watchmen incursion and what the hell is going on with that because that we were all expecting those answers to be well those questions to actually be answered so I guess they won't actually be but that is it for this video please drop a like please subscribe and I'll see you soon and goodbye